where could the market go? Let me give you some numbers. So the 200 week average is a really good target for th that's where things revert to. If, if markets are a mean reverting process, which I believe they are, and you just, I, I just use trend analysis. I'm, it's not really technical analysis. It's just things revert to their mean. And I see this over and over in all kinds of things that I follow, including ratios of sectors to indexes. Um, it's almost magical the way, it, it's, it's just like a regression line, things we go back to. So anyways, that's where in indexes could go sort of quickly. And that number for the NASDAQ is down 17%. So right now we're 12,850 on the NASDAQ 100. This, the 200 week average is 10,655. On the S&P, um, it's down 16%. So we're currently at 4146. The 200 week average is 3468. So it could go down 16%. Um, some of these other stocks, now we don't, I don't have all day here, so I, I, I won't, you know, I won't hog the podium, but um, let me just say there's huge, downside risk in the big uh, big cap tech stocks. For instance, Tesla, God bless him, Musk, you know, I'm glad he's buying Twitter, you know, maybe it'll turn back into a free speech platform. But the stock price of Tesla is probably the most single thing that stands out in the market now, like a sore thumb. 200 week average down 56%. Okay, that would just be a correction. I mean, we're not talking, you know, I mean, a, yeah, a bear market correction. But so for the NASDAQ, it's down 17%. For Tesla, it's down 56%. Apple, down 38%, 200-week average. Microsoft, down 29%. NVIDIA, down 37%. AMD, down 24%. So even though these large-cap tech stocks have rolled over and they're getting headlines now for being, you know, not a good place to invest, they have a lot more downside.